to be Marth? What are you looking at? He means all the Fire Emblem characters. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he's an anime boy, so he definitely plays all the sword characters. And the sword character is going to be useful in this matchup. Of course, I always say if you're playing Marth, why not just play Lucina? But the one thing that you do have as Mars over Lucina is your sour spots and your conversions. You can't do, you can't have like sour spot follow ups versus Lucina because she has more consistent of the hitbox. She doesn't have as many sour spot combos as Mars does. Yeah, I mean there there is a trade off to that. Of course, the main difference being that Mars has a tipper hitbox on his sword, meaning he can get those much earlier KOs. But yeah, at the expense of absolutely having to space his uh, attacks perfectly. And an up smash by the ledge right there, going to secure that first stock for Elegant. Only 40% on his first life. And when it comes up to spacing, you usually want to use things like neutral air. You can cross up your opponent with neutral air. You can go ahead and go from forward air. They're, those are pretty like decent cooldowns on shield. As long as you get a good drift back, your opponent won't be able to hit you with a follow-up. I do like the fact that he goes for that frame one up B. Yo, I just realized something. I want to see. I want to see Luigi do a back throw. That looks like, or even the forward throw, the back throw, and the throw animation might be from the new Luigi's Mansion. Like yeah. Oh, throw. come on, bro. Why did you counter like that? All right. It's only 25% on this second stock. Elegant, moving fast. Oh my God, he got the Zare to grab. Trying to end his life right here. Is he gonna do it? Ooh. Oh my God. Oh, oh, he should have went for like a drop forward air. Oh, oh okay. My God. I do respect the fact that he tried to counter it. Yeah. He tried to counter that side, that side with partially like. Is you he, have to oh my yet. God. No, come on, elegant dude. He's just he's teasing just him. Kid. He's just he's just teasing him, he's dude. He's just a boy. He said, no bullies, please. Oh. Did you not read his tag? Unfortunate, man. Oh. He paid the price for it. All right, elegant. The man literally begged you for no bullies, and you just bullied him into the sky. Not even into the ground, into the sky. We know this like is the 2G gaming stream, and we Rashido with flying, you know, lawnmowers. But it's a little too early a for ton that. Of sense. Yeah, it's too early for that. You, we ain't closing the stream yet. I know you said you, your goal was to get top eight tonight, but you ain't there yet. Hold up, hold up. Save some tricks for the stream for the end, man. Look, we saw we saw him pick Marth, but I feel like he picked the sand back from the game. All right, so he's just gonna switch to the Lucina. As I was saying, like Marth has the tipper, allows you to get those earlier kills at the expense of absolutely having to space perfectly all the time. With Lucina, yeah. you may not have those sour spot combos that Marth does. But at least she has a consistent hitbox, and she's going to get those KOs as long as you swing your sword. So as long as you get a read, it doesn't matter how you're spaced. You get that F smash, they're dying. Yes, that is 110% true. Versus Marth, if you do miss space, your opponent will live a little bit longer, and you want to make sure if you had the kill, you indefinitely got it. But fortunately for Azu, he did manage to get away from that. Oh, yo, hold up. Watch this out. Drop down. Oh. No, that, that counter was not going to work. It, it was the uppy, and it was like the sour spot of it, so he was fine. Yeah, I would. I, I respect the counter for sure. It is a little bit dangerous though, because you get, end up being caught in lag. All right, yeah. up B, dragging him up to the sky, and Elegant not able to get a tech. The parry. The thing about Lucina too is, if you're wondering like how you should be approaching if you go for an aerial, you should like nair to up air. They're pretty good plus on shield, really good frame data on them, and you can convert off of uh, falling up air into up up tilt. Especially if you cross up your opponent, a lot of people tend to go for out of shield options when, once they be crossed up. Things like back so you can stuff the Luigi here, but oh, unfortunately, man. you're gonna oh, take the hell that's with that. it, man. Elegant taking absolutely no percent. It equalized the game, two stocks apiece, but it came back with the death combo, taking that up special off the top. Good fade away with the with the using the dash dance. Yeah, Ozzy was up to such Sorry. a great start right there too. With absolutely oh out of shield. All right, not enough. You have to be careful with side B because ah. it's like it's not that pulse on shield. It's actually pretty bad. No way, dude. He just down through up B. Come on, that wasn't even true. At this point oh, though, when you smashed. go for even if it's not even true, he kind of has Ozzy on the back. On oh, the he's back got part. the reads, bro. Oh my god. Get out of there. Oh my god. Oh, oh yo. That would have been great if it's fine, but unfortunately. Oh, oh, oh no. no! 
I feel like he might have missed input there. I feel like he might have missed input there. He either missed input it or he really went for like a hard read where he was just like, I I'm probably going to lose this stock anyways. I just want to take that your life and it didn't work out. But Elegant taking the 2-0 victory. Yeah. Absolutely no respect for Azu's wish to not be bullied. Just no remorse.